Star Wars Battlefront is a game I was so excited to play. I lined up at midnight for this thing. I pre-ordered it at GameStop. I got the pre-order code for the Battle of Jakku DLC for free. I was pumped out of my mind to play Battlefront. And I really loved playing this game for about 45 minutes. Because that's how long this single player campaign lasted. Now before I get deep into my review, please recognize if you're loving this game, if you're having the time of your life playing this game, that's awesome. More power to you. Have fun. I enjoyed this game at times, but there are times where I hated this game. And I'm going to talk to you about the positives and the negatives of Battlefront because I experienced both. And as per usual, let's talk about the positives first. The graphics are fantastic. I love the look of this game. You do feel like you are in a Star Wars universe. Playing the Battle of Tatooine as Boba Fett is marvelously fun. The control for all of the characters is great. I loved wielding my lightsaber as Luke. I loved playing these battles as Han Solo or Luke Skywalker, swinging that green lightsaber around, or even just as the rebel soldiers or as the stormtroopers. That was a lot of fun. The single player campaigns in which you go for tokens and try to get a hundred of them, the speeder bike was tons of fun. I enjoyed flying the X-Wing or the TIE Fighter around. All of the vehicle stuff and the single player stuff is a lot of fun while it lasts. When I was younger, I had the first two Battlefront games for PS2. I was stupid and I traded them in for something at some point, I don't have them anymore. I will buy them back because I love those games. They had extensive single player campaigns and they were tons of fun. This newer Battlefront game is solely reliant on its online multiplayer and the absurdly priced $50 DLC. $50. Do you know how many McChickens I can buy for $50? Well, 50 of them. <laughs> in all seriousness though, I paid $60 for this game. I waited in a line at midnight and I got a pre-order code for a Battle of Jakku level that isn't even available until December 1st. I can't even play it. The DLC that's $50 and the stuff they're gonna be releasing over the next few months and into next year, also not in the game. That's like $110 plus tax, that's fucking crazy. Now my buddy Jeremy Johns did a video on this already and I had already planned on talking about it as well, but he talked about it extensively and why he won't even play the game. I gave the game a chance and I honestly agree with him. If you wanna check out his video, it's a very good video, check that out for sure. But I'm gonna talk about other Star Wars games that I've played over the years and how they compare to the new Battlefront. Games like Star Wars Bounty Hunter, a complete game on release. You got to play as Jango Fett and it was amazing. Games like Star Wars Clone Wars, a fun, acceptable game, also complete upon release. A game like Star Wars Jedi Outcast, another really exciting and fun Star Wars game, also complete upon release. And the two Rogue Squadron games that were for GameCube. Rogue Leader being an incredible game, which features far better flight mechanics than the new Battlefront game. Also, by the way, both of these were complete upon release. As a kid, I adored games like Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer or Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Very underrated game, not a lot of people talk about this. Great one. Or Star Wars Battle for Naboo, the unofficial sequel to Rogue Squadron which was also great. Oh, and by the way, all of those games were fucking completed upon release. They all cost about $49.99, which was the standard price for games at the time, and you never had to pay another dime to get any other content. All of the content available in games like this was the content you wanted to play when you saw the trailer for the game, and you got to play that as soon as you brought it home from the store, and it was amazing. Those times are gone. Now people rely on DLC. The 60 bucks plus tax I paid to play this new game is a horribly absurd price for the amount of things you get to do. Yes, it's a fun looking game and oh my gosh, it's Star Wars and I obviously love Star Wars and I can't wait for Force Awakens, but the Battle of Jakku land isn't even available upon release, which is the main land I wanted to play. The single player campaign is a joke of a length that literally took me about 40 minutes to play everything. I'm not even kidding. It took me about 40 minutes to maybe at most an hour to beat all the single player stuff. So let's talk about the online multiplayer because for some people that's gonna make or break this game. Now look, as I just told you, I have played virtually every single Star Wars video game ever made. Even the old shitty X-Wing Atari thing that's just little lines, I've played them all. As well as the first two Battlefront games. So I feel that I am well versed in Star Wars video games and that I am actually very good at them. My experience online was plagued with what some people call insta-death. You see someone over there, the second you see him, 
you're dead. It's like you run out of the bushes, there's a stormtrooper, oh, there's a guy. Blah. Then you get respawned like a mile away and you have to run all the way back to the point where the battle is taking place. As soon as you get to the battle, after 30 seconds of trying to figure out where everyone is, you instantaneously die as soon as someone sees you. Now, this isn't because I suck. As I said, I've just played like every Star Wars game ever made. But when the other guy is Darth Vader, it's like not even fucking fair. He has a lightsaber and force choke abilities. It's it's not even, there's no game. It's just you run around and die. It, the, the, <laughs> it, it, to win, you have to just die. And then the game ends and you're like, oh, thank God I, I won because I don't have to play online multiplayer against Darth Vader anymore. Now, I don't want any one of my subscribers or anyone who's never seen me before to assume that I am one of those gamers that just rants online all the time. I really am not. I, I literally am not. I never do that ever. I love video games and I've played them my whole life. And I love playing games that are fun. That's why I bought Star Wars Battlefront because I love Star Wars and I love the first two Battlefronts. But the idea of paying $60 to EA for a game that's like 30% of a game and eventually maybe the game will be complete through DLC that I also have to pay absurd prices for. That's just crazy to me and completely unfair. I see a person with a very long hand that's reaching across the country from California or wherever the fuck EA is into my pocket and going, you like Star Wars, don't you? And just taking that money. And that's my experience with Star Wars Battlefront. I had fun for like an hour. It's a great looking game. It's fun to hear John Williams music as your Luke Skywalker, but there isn't enough of that. If there was a bigger single player campaign for people like me who actually enjoy single player games, I would have a blast, but there's just not enough. The DLC is absurdly priced, and the online multiplayer is just, you just run around and die. That's all you do. <laughs> That's all I did. Be like the new Super Smash Brothers game. Release a great, completed game, and every few months, maybe put a new character out for $3.99. That's awesome. They're releasing Cloud soon from Final Fantasy. That's a great idea. Stop with this $50, $60 DLC shit after you've already got people to buy your game. I'm actually not going to rate Star Wars Battlefront as I do all of my video game reviews because I don't feel like I've played a complete game. I feel like I've played half a game, if even. And I don't feel like I can, in good conscience, assign a grade to a game that feels incomplete when it shouldn't be. That's what I'm upset about. But if you can tell, I'm not really recommending that you pick up Battlefront unless you can get it for a very reduced price, or if a year from now when you're watching this video and it's like in 2016, they've maybe released a complete version of this game. Pick up that version if that future version is ever created. Unfortunately, I can't really recommend you guys picking up this game. If you still have a PS2 or an Xbox or something that plays those games, pick up the first two Battlefronts. They're awesome. Or any of the other older games I just held up showing you. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.